It's not news that Apple often introduces a significantly updated version of the iPhone yearly. However, the iPhone 14 model appears to be an exception. What is actually different about the iPhone 14 compared to the iPhone 13? Should you even think about upgrading? Or let's say you are interested in purchasing a new iPhone. In this case, which option would be the wiser choice? Purchasing the brand new iPhone 14 series or opting to save money by purchasing the now discounted iPhone 13 series? Keep watching to learn the primary difference to expect. iPhone 13 vs iPhone 14 Note that Apple has discontinued the earlier iPhone 13 Pro model as it has done in the past few years, to prevent it from cannibalizing sales of the iPhone 14. As is customary for Apple throughout the fall season, the company has just released a new iPhone model. The iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro Max are the most recent flagship smartphones released by the company. Even though the Pro models are more likely to receive new features first, a yearly improvement is typically made to the versions that are not Pro. This time around, it appears that the standard models have not been subjected to that treatment. Apple's iPhone 13 product had two separate device sizes in 2021, a standard model and a mini version. Although the standard size still remains in 2022, the mini is replaced with a much larger device known as the Plus. The height of the iPhone 13 is 5.7 inches, its width is 2.82 inches, and its depth is 0.3 inches. The mini iPhone 13 measured 5.18 inches in height, 2.53 inches in width, and the same 0.30 inches in depth as its predecessor. The dimensions of the iPhone 14 are the same as those of the iPhone 13, except that it is 0.31 inches thicker. The iPhone 14 Plus is a substantially larger handset than the iPhone 14 and measures 6.33 inches by 3.07 inches while maintaining the same thickness of 0.31 inches. The Mini Plus adjustment is primarily the cause of the difference in weight, which is also different. The iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Mini weighed 4.97 and 6.14 ounces respectively. The iPhone 14 weighs 6.07 ounces while the iPhone 14 Plus weighs 7.16 ounces. The Plus model is heavier. The iPhone 14 has a design and build almost identical to the current iPhone 13 model. The screen size, which is 6.1 inches, has not changed, nor has the design of the phone's sides, which are flat. Additionally, the rear dual camera setup has not been altered. The metal frame of the iPhone 14 is sandwiched between two pieces of glass on the back and front of the device. As you may imagine, the screens are also different, which is to be expected given the size disparity. The display on the iPhone 13 is a Super Retina XDR and measures 6.1 inches, while the display on the iPhone mini measures 5.4 inches. These OLED panels feature a potential contrast ratio of 2 million to 1, support for high dynamic range HDR, and a maximum brightness of 800 NITS for normal content and 1,200 NITS for HDR content, respectively. In addition, True Tone, Compatibility for Wide Color, P3, and Haptic Touch are included in the 2021 models. Regarding picture quality, the resolution of an iPhone 13 is 2,532 by 1,170 pixels, and the pixel density is 460 pixels per inch. The iPhone mini has a little less resolution than the iPhone at 2,340 by 1,080 pixels, yet it still has a higher pixel density than the iPhone at 476 pixels per inch. Both the resolution and the pixel density are identical on the iPhone 14. Once more, the Plus goes big with a resolution of 2,778 by 1,284 pixels. The pixel density decreases to 458 ppi, but considering the extremely high levels we are working with here, this change is slight. Both iPhone 13 models come with the standard 12 megapixel sensors, in addition to a wide camera with an aperture of f1.6 and an ultra-wide camera with an aperture of f2.4. 
This gives you a total of a 2x optical zoom out and a 5x digital zoom in. The pattern for the iPhone 14 pair is somewhat similar, but there are a few key differences to note. The primary wide camera now has an aperture of f1.5, while the ultra-wide camera has maintained its previous setting of f2.4. Apple has modified this component to include a bigger sensor with pixels of 1.9 microns in size. Because of this modification, the sensor in the iPhone 14 will be able to collect more light, resulting in an overall 49% improvement in low-light shooting. We all know that Apple has made a name for itself by providing a battery life that is noticeably longer than average in its flagship models. And amazingly, the iPhone 14 follows this tradition. Apple stated that the iPhone 13 could play local videos for up to 19 hours, while the iPhone 13 mini could play local videos for up to 17 hours. It also stated that the iPhone 13 could play streamed videos for up to 15 hours, while the iPhone mini could play streamed videos for up to 13 hours. On the iPhone 13, you could obtain up to 75 hours of audio playback time. On the iPhone mini, you could get up to 55 hours. Apple claims that the iPhone 14 can support up to 20 hours of local video playing, 16 hours of streaming video playback, and 80 hours of audio playback. If we were to summarize everything, we would say that the iPhone 14 is not a very significant advance, yet it does bring a bit more to the table than previous models, thanks to its brighter screen, quicker GPU, and most crucially, improved cameras. iPhone 13, 14 Plus Pro and Pro Max. The notch on the regular models has been replaced on the Pro models by a pill-shaped cutout that Apple refers to as the Dynamic Island. However, the notch preset on the basic models is still the same as last year. According to Apple's website, the new iPhone 14 Pro Max boasts a longer video playback of 29 hours. Apple also promises the highest battery life ever on an iPhone, with up to 26 hours of video playing for the iPhone 14 Plus. In comparison to its predecessor, the iPhone 13, the newer iPhone 14 adds an additional hour to its battery life. In terms of specifications, the A15 Bionic chip, which made its debut with the iPhone 13 series, is now featured in the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Plus. Regarding the iPhone 14 Pro, things are done differently because the more expensive models are equipped with the brand new A16 Bionic chipset. The brand new A16 Bionic contains a 5-core graphics processing unit GPU, a neural engine with 16 cores, 2 high-performance cores, 4 efficiency cores, and 2 efficiency cores. Because it is configured this way, it can carry out as many as 17 trillion operations per second. The iPhone 14 has 4 gigabytes of random access memory RAM, whereas the Pro Max variants have 6 gigabytes of RAM. The iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro Max come standard with a storage capacity of 128GB. The new A16 chip is responsible for Dynamic Island's fluid animations and powers Apple's upgraded camera system. In order to optimize the amount of light captured, the sensor will, for the most part, snap images with a resolution of 12 megapixels. This allows Apple to crop the sensor in various ways, enabling the company to produce a real two-time zoom at a focal length of 48 millimeters. This should result in some amazing photographs, and Apple's Pro Raw format will benefit from the new sensor's ability to maximize details. In addition, the new ultra-wide camera hosts an enhanced macro photography mode and a low-light performance that is improved by a factor of three. Apple has also improved the flash that is included in the camera system of the iPhone 14, making it twice as brilliant as before and allowing it to react to the focal length of images. The main camera on the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max has been upgraded to a brand new quad pixel sensor with 48 megapixels. This sensor utilizes pixel binning, combining four individual pixels into a larger pixel. The resulting image resolution is approximately 12 megapixels, and each pixel measures 2.44 micrometers. According to Apple, the new camera with 48 megapixels is 65% larger than the one found in the iPhone 13 Pro from the previous year. The iPhone 14 Pro versions are an excellent choice if you want to take a video because they offer all the necessary features. 
The cinematic mode now supports both 4K resolution at 30 frames per second and 4K resolution at 24 frames per second. With all considered, worthwhile changes are found in the Pro models of the iPhone. While the iPhone 14 models offer a more refined and iterative experience in comparison to the previous year's models, therefore, unless you absolutely need the longer battery life that the iPhone 14 Plus provides, the iPhone 13 is still an excellent deal, and it is even more so now that the price tag has been reduced. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned! Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video. Bye!